he comes. Thank God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. They're sisters, 15 and 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. But today, he was really showing his age. The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. If his flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him, I can't imagine how many Gs he hit today during the battle. As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. How penal is this penal unit, you ask? This place is a shithole. If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, that would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. We got all kinds of critters, too. Everything from flea-ridden guards, rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing a stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got those. And some pilots who got their wings clipped, too. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck and one's an anarchist with no balls. Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for Arusha's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arusha lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards' room. It was the Erusian princess rallying her people on the Erusian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans, too. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Dark blue. Instead of building fake-ass planes to trick Arusha, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. You can count on that. Aircraft preparations complete. Sortie ASAP. Entering 
operation area, imposing radio silence. We'll radio you, but you are not permitted to make contact. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. Trigger, you're currently halfway to your rendezvous point. Look, I'm not gonna lie, it's just gonna be you and your radar out there. Just know, we got a bunch of people pulling for you. And I'm one of them. You're three fourths of the way. Been a long fight, but you're nearly home. Harling is still the president in my eyes. He ended the war, built the space elevator, and launched a spaceship from it. Despite his success, he remained a humble hero. I'll do my best to save him. Let me a hand, Trigger. Destroy them. Huh. 
is defenseless. Gollum and Mage, destroy all hostiles. <sighs> it's been a long journey, but you're on the home stretch. Gargoyle will stand by near the space elevator. This is Sea Goblin. Heading over to the x presence location now. Run for the container! Caution, Pistol is a radar lock!
squadrons be advised. The call sign is Mother Goose 1. I've sent the information via the data link. heading south. Provide support. Five minutes remaining. Skykeeper, bogey's on my radar. Bearing 220. Sighting confirmed as MQ-101, forerunner for Arsenal Bird. The big bird is coming, huh? Mage, protect Mother Goose 1. Shoot down any UAVs. Gollum, intercept the UAVs. Gollum 1 will kill. That last battle taught me a lot about those a-holes. Gollum 2, don't stray off on me. Always maintain element. Boko, forming up! Keeper, what the hell was that? 
that. Cargoel did their job. I figured, but why weren't we informed? The IUN can't coordinate between the branches as usual. One has been shot down. Where'd the missile come from? Mage 2 fired that. It was OG. A friendly missile hit him. Verifying the situation. Stop speculating. Friendly fire. I saw it. Mother Goose 1 exploded in air. No one could have survived. Looks like it tried to protect the elevator. Erosian bastards, they just killed a hero. Mage 1, was it Trigger? <sighs> Trigger was the closest. UAVs were crawling all over our objective. I told you to keep a goddamn eye on the hatchling. It must have been a mistake. Arsenal Bird is entering. All aircraft withdraw immediately. Trigger, you can't fly for a while. You understand. Bad news for us here at the prison. The enemy fell for our decoy base. With all the fake planes and trucks we had out, it must have looked to them like the Ocean Air Force was about to go on the attack. Day after day after day after day they bombed us. Osea didn't give a damn. We weren't soldiers to them, so go ahead. Bomb us. In their eyes, we were expendable. Worth less than the fake planes in the bunkers. No biggie. While I made fake planes, they had me put together some working ones. Then, some genius at HQ decided we should send it up, so the base looked legit. Thankfully, we had people to crew them. 
It didn't matter what we were locked up here for anymore. Top brass needed pilots, and criminals were all they had. A crook, a gambler, an anarchist. Just your typical lowlifes. They threw each one of them in a cockpit and sent them up to intercept the enemy's planes. But in the end, it was all just for show. So, up they went, day after day after day. Today they tossed someone new into the mix. Wonder what he did to get sent here. My dad died flying for the Ocean Air Force. When your allies are surrounded, one of the most dangerous missions is giving them cover to retreat. Whoever signed up for that was a real hero. But even more dangerous than that was being the one who had to cover the rear guard's retreat. That was my dad's job. And one time, he called it off. Said it was too late for him. Said anyone else would have done the same. I found that out from a war buddy of his when he came to tell me how my dad died. The next time a retreat happened, my dad volunteered to be in the rear guard. Dumbass. He died all right. No one came to help. The news nearly broke me. Of all the ways to get killed, that's gotta be the most pathetic one ever. Am I right? There's a rumor going around about another inmate. A guy they brought here a little while ago. Get this. Talk in the cell block says he was sent here because he killed Harling. The president of Osea during the last war, remember? He's the one that sent my dad on that suicide mission. He's the reason I had to go live with my grandpa. And why me and Gramps started building a supersonic jet. He's the reason I ended up here. Maybe I should give that guy a thank you note for killing him. Nah. God, I hate the smell of this place. It's all fake and lies and bullshit. It reeks. Check your altimeter and wait in front of the runway. Control, would you kindly send me up first? Spare Champ, this is the control tower. You're not cleared for takeoff. Obey orders. Go to hell. All aircraft preparing for takeoff. Watch out for Spare 8. He's forcing a takeoff. I'll take up command. Any objections? That'll get decided in the skies. <laughs> Do shit. Trigger your call sign to Spare 15. Consider it your prisoner number for the air. Commencing deception and interception. Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to take off. Go now. Woohoo! My blood's boiling! Toss the chump in solitary once he gets back. Makes it very can you land your ass in the gonna ass. survive? Anyone wanna bet on it? Spare 15, take off confirmed. Altitude restriction lifted. Go. So, no missiles again. The FCS is locked. Damn. You're good. Let's make this more interesting. Prisoners use nothing without supervision. Not even a pencil. Here comes Harling's murderer. He shot two missiles right between old Harling's eyes. Always in the know, aren't you? <laughs> in this war, intel is a life or death matter. Settle down. Excited to have another murderer with you? Yeah! This is Bandog. Spare 15, I'm handling surveillance. The bombers that attacked the runway are coming back for another round. I know it's just a dummy runway. You guys just need to make a lot of noise. Make them think there's fighters at the base. Anyone got a smoke? I'll owe you one. If any of you die, just think of it as you atoning for your crimes. Much appreciated. <laughs> one more thing. Any aircraft leaving the operation area will be shot down. You hear me? Right-o. Three, three, this is Let the 
me get closer. Are you trying to kill me? Looks like we're going to shoot down all. Commander. Commander McKinsey? Damn it! Spare squadron, listen up. Shoot down everything carrying bombs. Weapons free. You're clear to engage. Show no mercy. We'll be done by now. I have to make the odds. Wanna bet which one of us gets the first kill trigger? Tell us starts. This is the first. This count's going I decide when you die. Alright, I'm a sweet man. All aircraft support me. Who's gonna dance to your line, too? I'll show you all how it's done. Spare 15, bandit splashed. Trigger, keep an eye on your head count. We can compare later. I'm in that report get dressed up real pretty. Radar pinged. Incoming hostile group detected. Take care of them. I know. A bomb at high altitude. Stop watching your own asses and look up. Missile. Missile. 
for your next sortie. I lost a lot of money for that trigger. Don't forget. <laughs> 